We start the evening with breaking news from Fayette County, where late this afternoon, a verdict was reached in the trial of one of two people charged for the murder of a Fayette County woman. Andre Torres from Goshen, Indiana, was one of two people charged in the murder of Michelle Smith, a Fayette County woman killed in February of 2023. The other defendant, Andre Torres from Goshen, Indiana, was one of two people charged in the murder of Michelle Smith, a Fayette County woman that was killed in February of 2023. The other defendant, Amanda Soltz, also from Indiana, will be tried separately. It took the 12-person jury roughly an hour to reach its verdict, guilty on felony murder, kidnapping, robbery, and conspiracy charges. All of those charges came without the recommendation of mercy, paving the way for a possible life sentence without the possibility of parole. The trial stems from an investigation that began in February of 2023, when Smith was taken to the hospital by her son after he found her handcuffed in her home, suffering from trauma to her face and a gunshot wound in her head. Smith would spend 43 days in the hospital before passing away. Torres took the stand today to testify in his defense. He admitted to handcuffing Smith and ransacking the home in search of a watch he said he gave her as collateral for a $60 loan. According to Torres, it all happened after a night of drinking together turned ugly. He testified that he took the gun from Smith when she pointed it at him during an argument and that he gave it to Soltz, who pulled the trigger while Torres searched for the watch. Torres also claimed that earlier admissions of guilt given to the police were in his attempt to cover for Soltz. And he blamed Smith's additional injuries on Soltz. The state painted a different picture, saying that Torres was the mastermind of the attack. Chief Assistant Prosecuting Attorney Jennifer Crane argued that evidence showed that there was no evidence that Smith was drinking with the two defendants before the murder. And it said that Torres planned to hurt Smith after she put up the watch for sale. She also asked the jury to not recommend mercy, saying that not granting it would give the family closure. Ultimately, the jury agreed with Crane, finding Torres guilty on all counts. Torres is scheduled to be sentenced on December 18th. He's facing life without possibility of parole. His co-defendant, Amanda Soltz, is still waiting on a trial. We are told that it could take place in the next few weeks. We'll continue to keep you updated.